Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I'm going for something a little more basic and simple. Today we're going to build the Star Wars, the authentic Luke Skywalker X-Wing fighter by MPC. Now this is a snap kit, so assembly is probably going to be pretty straightforward, hopefully, and the rest of the time will be spent on the paint and weathering and details of the kit. I picked up this kit last year around Christmas time. It was one of the Walmart sale items that I found. And I remember building Luke Skywalker's X-Wing uh, back when I was a kid, the original one. I believe this is a different scale. I'm pretty sure this is a bit smaller than the one uh, released originally back in the 70s. So if this one is smaller scale than the original, uh, I'm hopeful that MPC will re-release that one as well as a glue together kit. Now I do also have Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, the one that Round 2 recently re-released with some new parts included in it. And I'm looking forward to that one, but I wanted to do this one first. So before I get started, if you're new to the channel, welcome, and if you wouldn't mind, please click that subscribe button down below. And if you want to get notified when I post new content, click the little bell icon as well. Also, to all of my subscribers out there, thank you so much for subscribing and supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to get one of my new shop cards, you can find my email down in the information below. Just send me an email with your name and address and I'll ship you out a shop card. Don't forget to check out my online store, the links are in the description below, where you can pick up some cool stickers, mugs, hats, t-shirts, all kinds of cool things. All of my designs are scale model themed and they're all designed by me, a scale modeler. So be sure to check them out. All right, so let's clean off the bench a little bit and we'll crack this puppy open. Okay, before we review all the parts, I just wanna say inside the box, They've got some really awesome and well-printed artwork from the first movie from Star Wars. I really like how Round 2 and NPC are doing this. Uh, it, it, it's great for, you know, how you when you're wanting to paint it and detail it. Uh, they've got this really nice layout on the back that shows more detail of the kit in an already painted form. So just lots of great reference material. And I like that, you know, they're not just wasting a brown box. It actually adds to it and it really does uh, make a difference I think. It really looks nice and I just want to say that I like that. Okay, so let's get to the kit. All right, here we have our main hull pieces and I was correct, uh, this is quite a bit smaller than the kit I built when I was a kid in the 70s. So I don't know what scale this is exactly or what scale the original one is. If you know, let me know in the comments below. So yeah, I'm really hopeful that uh, Round 2 and MPC will come out with the original uh, Luke Skywalker X-Wing fighter because I would just really like to build that kit again and relive some of those fond memories. As far as this one goes, the detail is pretty good. Uh, it's got some interesting detail here around the back of the cockpit area where R2-D2 sits. R2-D2 is molded in, as is the pilot Luke Skywalker. There is a lot of raised panel line details. And underneath we have some more raised panel line details and some lines. And I mean, for what it is, I, I think it, it looks pretty good. It's a nice little mold. Okay, let's check out the next bit of pieces here. All right, here we have uh, one side of the wing and the uh, engine modules. Here's the rear of the main hull. Uh, I think this is just the bulkhead for inside. And the way this one goes together is the wings will actually open and close like in the movie. So that's pretty cool. That is the same way with the original kit. The larger version had the same kind of layout. There are some recessed details in this and some raised ones as well. Looks pretty good. Some decent, uh, some decent detail on the engine modules and on the rear of the bulkhead and they look like they're molded pretty well to where they will snap together now i will be gluing my kit together because i just i prefer to glue them together but it looks like this will snap together okay so we'll see as the build continues here we have the other side with also some landing gear 
and the rest of the engines, the intakes and the uh, exhaust for the engines and the other wing. Pretty good detail inside those vents. Yeah, it's not bad. For, for a small uh, snap together kit, I think that's great. All right, next we have our clear parts. And this is the same, the stand looks identical to the one I built when I was a kid, it's just a little smaller. We've got our cockpit windshield and I don't know what this is for. Hmm, an extra piece, I don't know. We'll have to see if there's anything in the instructions. All right, let's get, speaking of the instructions, here we have our instructions, our assembly guide. These are very straightforward and simple instructions. We will be building our engine pods first. Then we will be assembling them to the wings. And assembling the wings. And then assembling this unit here, which kind of sandwiches the wing units together so they'll move. And then we'll put it all together inside the two halves of the hull. And then our optional landing gear and the other side of the landing gear. And I see no reference to that extra clear part, so if you know what that's for, let me know in the comments below. All right, finally we have our decals or decals. Um, so it comes with two sets of decals. So this is a set of stickers, not decals. These are actually adhesive stickers. But thank you round two for including a set of water soluble slide decals. Thank you very much. Um, I, these kind are great for young modelers or you know beginner modelers, but for advanced modelers, these are excellent. All right, so that is the kit. I am gonna clean off the bench, get some tools and some paint, and we're gonna get to the build. These parts are pretty well molded and they will require some basic cleanup, which is what I would expect from a kit like this. The alignment pins on these parts were a little off, so the parts didn't line up exactly right. Since I'm gluing these parts together, I snipped off the alignment pins so I can hold the parts together, line them up, and then glue them in place. The rest of these parts seem to fit very well and go together without any problems. I'm trying something a little different here. Instead of priming the entire kit first, I'm using some dark gray primer to do my pre-shading.
Here, I'm using some light gray primer mixed with some ivory white to lighten it up even more. After the primer had dried, I'm now misting everything with some Tamiya Gloss White. This will blend all of the layers of color together and should look really nice. Now, I'm giving everything a nice glossy clear coat so I can add some washes for weathering. Here I'm using some black panel line accent color from Tamiya. This will go into all the nooks and crannies and bring out a lot of detail. I'm airbrushing the inside of the canopy with some Tamiya Clear Smoke. This will add a nice tint to it and should look really nice as well. Now I'm using some odorless turpentine and a Q-tip to clean up the excess panel line wash. Now, there's no set rules here. You just want to keep cleaning it up until it looks good to you. The majority of these decals went on really well with no problems. The ones I did have problems were the decals for R2-D2 and the decal for the canopy. If I were to build another one of these, I would trim the decals for R2-D2 and make them several pieces so they would lay down better. Also, for the canopy, I would most likely remove the clear section or just mask the canopy off and paint it myself.
On my version of this kit, I wanted to paint the exhaust ports a little different color, so I chose some dark aluminum. After this dries, I'll go back with another weathering wash to darken them up a bit. If you're one of my regular viewers, then you'll know that I typically don't put pilots in my aircraft. Since this one was molded into it, I decided I'd go ahead and paint it up and detail it a little bit. I'm adding some additional weathering using an oil-based paint from MIG called Starship Base Sludge. I'll also use the same odorless turpentine to clean this up as well. The final touches along with a clear matte coat. And here we have the completed X-Wing fighter from MPC and Star Wars. This was a fun quick build. It didn't take much time to put it together. I spent most of my time with the details and the weathering and all the painting. And for an inexpensive snap together kit, I think it came out okay. The parts fit pretty well. I did have to trim some parts to make them fit and line up a little better, but other than that, it did go together okay. The decals were nice that they sent two sets, one adhesive and one water slide, and for the most part those decals worked great. With the exception of the canopy decal and R2-D2's decals. Those did not want to lay down right and I really don't care how they came out, but I wanted to give them a try and see how it looked. If I were to do one of these again, I would definitely just mask off the canopy and paint it instead of using the decal. But other than that, the rest of them went on well. It looks good, like I said, for an inexpensive snap together kit. I think it looks really nice and it'll look nice being displayed on the shelf or hanging from the ceiling. So have any of you built this kit and what do you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. I really do hope MPC comes out with the larger scale version of this kit to mimic the one from the 70s, but with some needed improvements. In the meantime, this one did great. This kit would definitely work out good for a new modeler or a novice modeler. And just because it's snapped together doesn't mean it's it's not a great kit. It's, as you can see, it came out nice. However, you could just build it out of the box, put the stickers on, and it'll still look like a nice X-Wing fighter. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining and helpful. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't already, please remember to click that subscribe button down below. It helps out the channel and I'd really appreciate it. Be sure to check out my affiliate links down in the description below. And don't forget to head on over and check out my online shop where you can pick up some stickers, t-shirts, mugs, 
and other cool items, all scale model themed, designed by me, a scale modeler. So that'll do it for this episode, friends. And as always, be safe out there and go build something. <laughs>